What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Grounded. So today, oh, today we got some exciting things planned. We've got a lot of building to do, lots of base building to do. Um, we are going to prepare ourselves for the final raid over there. We're going to take over there in a minute, but I want to get some stuff covered over here. So um, lots of base building, lots of mushroom bricks made. Um, as you can see, we have all these chests completely full of mushroom bricks except for this one we're working on this one too uh this was our mushroom making area so as you can see we have like uh we have six furnaces over here we have two more over there we've got a bunch of slurry makers and we're just basically making a whole bunch of mushroom walls because uh the mushroom walls have 800 health whereas the ash walls i think it's the ash cement walls i think those only go up to a thousand and those are way too expensive and it's so much easier to build with mushroom walls. So um, we decided to go with mushroom walls, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna take that stuff over there. But other things that have happened that are super exciting. We finally unlocked our alternate recipes for the Supreme Whetstone and the Supreme Plating. So Supreme Plating takes uh, ladybird shells. Supreme Whetstone takes a black ox horns. Uh, not terrible, not terrible whatsoever, but uh, it could be a billion could be a little bit better <laughs> so um it'd be nice if you know resources respawn and then let's see what else we got going on here um we are going to work on taking all of our gear to the max level and uh, yeah kind of get things going that way now there are a couple things that like i have some minor nuances about um there there's things in this game that just that aren't quite working like they're supposed to i don't think uh, i was watching some in some some videos and things like that about people kind of like data mining grounded and it just like the you know the damages aren't scaling correctly and when you have multiple people they aren't scaling correctly and things like that so um this whole thing might i might actually run it solo and kind of see how it goes i don't know we'll have to see but uh, we got a lot of building and uh, yeah exciting things exciting things so let's head on over there i'm gonna go ahead and clear out my inventory as much as i can uh and yeah we're gonna go we have so much building to do it's gonna be great all right, so we've got some main choke points that we're going to try to build up uh, some defenses on. So I know for a fact that this one gets hit by this area. So that's going to be our one of our first defense points. And then we're going to have another one right in here, I believe. Um, I think a lot of a lot of bugs come right in here. Uh, and then they start filtering around over here to, um, to this point. And then we've also got this point right here. And this point which those are gonna be the easiest ones to defend but this part right here is gonna be the trick because i'm not 100 percent sure where they all come from over here so it's basically like this whole side is gonna have to be um like walled off and i also don't know if they're gonna come from the top over there so this side right here is gonna be the expensive side it's gonna be a giant wall but we've got uh well we've got a lot of materials so i think we'll be okay so i think the plan is to cut off the choke points and we're also going to do here. Let me go ahead and actually get some of these built here. So I think what we're actually going to do here is we are going to get these and I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to alternate these. Um, I think we're going to do something like this with these walls. And then these are going to be the interiors. And then we're going to do another set of walls like this. And that's going to give us, I think, a uh, like a little bit more honeycomb. So if they want to go through here, they have to break one of these walls and then they'd have to. Oh, well, then they would just go straight to right here, wouldn't they? OK, so actually. If we wanted to do this correctly. If we went like this. Because then if they broke this wall, they'd either have to go through this one or this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then it's kind of the same thing with this. So what we need to do is actually alternate the diagonals. Yeah, so that way they'd have to break multiple layers to get through. So I think we're gonna we're gonna try to do this, uh, but we're gonna have, try to have multiple layers through here and basically just try to slow them down as much as possible. Now, as far as offensive stuff goes, I don't we haven't really figured out for sure what we want to do. Um, we're thinking about possibly putting like a, a pebble turret 
on each one of these uh trying to load it up and then you know if one area is getting like super bombarded we could head up to a pebble turret try to you know take some things out and see how that works but i don't know yet so we're gonna work on the walls i think we're gonna work on the walls first and then uh yeah, I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna be a solid design because each of these walls has like 800 health. So I think that'll be okay. So I'm gonna actually just do like this first layer like this. And then I'm gonna go to each side. So that way we know kind of like what we're doing here. All right, so update on the building stuff. It may look like an absolute disaster. However, I wanna kind of go over like what I'm doing here and I wanna share it with you. So as you can see, we have honeycombed some walls in around where all the areas i think they're going to come in at so i've made these one two three one two three four this one's only four thick i actually probably will go ahead and put a fifth one on there now i want to explain it so like this one's one two three four five now i want to kind of explain what i was doing we also have bombs here yeah we got bombs we got some bombs so i want to explain what i was doing with the honeycomb because i built like all the honeycomb and then i realized that there was another layer of honeycomb that i could do so let's actually um this one right here likes to get attacked first so i'll show you right here kind of how i'm doing this so what i was doing before was essentially going back and forth like this and then that is how i was honeycombing everything and then i would put you know like the uh, the straight wall on there but and then i'd go through like this but then i forgot i was like oh i can add another vertical in between all of these which then gives us a whole nother point that they have to break through because so let's just imagine um this front wall right here okay that's the first thing they have to break once they break that then they get into either this wall or this wall so let's do this on them let's do this like right here so they break through this wall they either have this wall or this wall it's like okay cool they break this wall well then it's like okay so they still have this wall or this wall and then it's like okay so then they go through this wall here and then they have this one and so on and so forth so we're getting wall density and then it kind of works the same way like the other way so let's say they break the front wall and then like oh i want to go here instead they could still they could still go here and just keep going straight however um i have a feeling that the pathing is going to work a little bit different but even once they get through this wall there's another wall here and then there'll be another wall so like you know it, it kind of doesn't really matter and i haven't really seen i could be completely wrong here but I also really haven't seen the um, the pathing for the bugs in a way that's like, um, like I don't want to say tower defense like, but where if I put a wall here, they're going to go to like a different side, you know, like if I had the thinnest point or if I could um, essentially like tunnel them where I can make walls and just have like one tunnel and just set a bunch of, bunch of these traps. I don't think that they will do that because that's what i thought of before i was like well let's just make it a big maze to the point where they never get to the middle um i think they'll just start attacking whatever they get up close to next so i could be completely wrong uh, but this is this is kind of my standard this is kind of what we're doing um we're gonna try this now i think it's gonna be myself and miss z doing this um again because when we get multiple people in here things start scaling crazy and getting uh extremely difficult so i think it's just gonna be me and her but we have um, some pebblet turrets over, you know, we have a hot, we have a gate there. Pebble turrets can, uh, pebble turrets can go here. Um, so that way we can, you know, take down the, uh, the forces. And then we also have a pollen turret in the middle because when we do get hit by mosquitoes, we can hop in there. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, I should be able to just, <laughs> I can just jump up here. Um, Ooh, I have to get rid of these wall pieces. Actually, all I need to do to get rid of these is just put a blueprint down and then that'll actually get rid of all of them. So now if, you know, a mosquito's trying to get in there, pop, 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 start blasting. We start blasting, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be the goal for the mosquitoes. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Now, pollen is another thing we're going to, I'm going to try to get some of it. We have like 20 or 30 back home. Um, I guess you can find it from the dandelions, the uh, the yellow dandelions. I guess you cut those, like those ones. I guess you cut them down and they drop like three or four. So I'll probably do some farming of that, farming of some pebbles and yeah, basically just getting things ready. And then we're going to rock and roll. We're going to do this. All right. So our base is um, done. <laughs> I, I gave up and actually uh, I got to give credit to Missy because Missy actually did a lot of these, uh, a lot of these interior walls. So I'll kind of give you the rundown of what we got going on here. 
and we're gonna try this once we have I've, we've got everybody online we got four people however like i said with with scaling and stuff i think it's gonna be a little wild so we've got multiple uh the main entrances are pretty much blocked off we got bombs pretty much everywhere we've got bombs here um as i go around bombs 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 now i'm hoping that these don't just go off and blow up everything but we did i did back up my save so that way just in case like anything goes goes south um these walls are up we've got these guys being all blocked off uh we've got the like i said we got the um the pollen turret up there for the mosquitoes and we just we have a lot of walls so we're gonna give it a try we're gonna hope for the best i'm hoping that this will work and i'm hoping that uh we've got enough walls so um yeah let's let's go ahead let's get this started it looks ridiculous from up here <laughs> it's, just, it's like a sea of mushroom walls <laughs> oh i love it that's so funny that's so good okay all right here we go base oh my god it just looks like it just looks like pure cut bricks from here it's so funny okay we're up and running So I'll start by watching this uh, this area right here by C real quick. Because I know last time a lot of them came over here. Large orc incoming. Yep, here they come. So the mosquitoes are interesting. Okay, the, the turret really doesn't do that much damage to them actually does like almost nothing you know what's funny is i actually don't have any whoa all right um so they definitely just went over the edges of these walls yep they're they're just dropping in from the tops they're not even going through the valleys anymore i gotta go down here and find them Okay, so those buildings in the grottos did absolutely nothing. Oh! I think this side is only fire ants, pretty much. Um, also, these bombs aren't really doing anything. I can come help you guys. Need help? Ow. Uh, there's a lot over here. Holy God. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're attracted to me. <laughs> Well, hey, we did the thing. Wonderful work, though. You would make an excellent lab assistant. You know, the walls older, of course. worked on your side very now, well. We just need to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. The, um... How do you like that, Director Spectre? We already took out Director Spectre. Um, they, on my side, they completely bypassed that canyon wall thing. They just dropped in from the hillsides. <laughs> Didn't have enough walls. Well, if I knew they were going to do that, I would have just uh, had him come through the canyon and just had a whole bunch of, you know, nasty stuff waiting for him. Oh my gosh. One in bigging, in bigging cell. Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. 
a lot. Too. You might be the best assistant I've ever had. We did it. We made the embiggening cocktail. He's just looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Anyway, back to the spacer. Maybe we can get you home before dinner. Oh my gosh. It's it, it wants us to do the middle thing now. What do you guys think? Is it time to go home? Let's do it. I want to be big in here. Uh, I'm going to take the zip line over. Oh my God, the music is so cheerful and uplifting. Like I almost want to cry. 80 hours for this very moment. <laughs> I want to thank Miss Z for building my walls. Chase for always being there. <laughs> Chuck, we can count on him to go down when a flea attacks. I did it. We need to talk. Oh. Okay. Well, here we are. Back where it all began. Sure. I never thought I'd say this, but it's time to go home. For all of us to go home. For the first time in a long while, I have a good feeling about the future, and it's all because of you. We'd better get you back to your families. I suspect they're worried sick about you. I'm ready. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Oh. <laughs> Taking a survey of For the last time, Virgo, no. I do not want any more of these confounded follow-up surveys. The answer is adequate. Always adequate. Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Wait, you are leaving? Have you been dissatisfied with my service? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. But it may be a while. <laughs> Affirmative, Dr. Kelly. I will stay behind. Again. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional science manager, Burgle. I'm being attacked by a gnat. What? <laughs> Regional science manager? But Dr. Tully, does that mean we will be franchising? Burgle, this is a big responsibility. In recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? Congratulations, Manager Burgle. Regional Manager Burgle, thank you very much. Indeed it is. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast. Will you go for the last time? It should be I. Okay then. All right, let's do this. It is about time. Oh, we probably have to talk to him again. Of course. Are you ready to get out of here? I'm ready. Okay then. For science. Oh, here we go. Guys, I'm not joining you. I'm staying here. <laughs> Oh, don't break any zip lines. Oh, several months later. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings. 
about the dead teenagers, about Omni. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmechter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, they didn't tell him. I'm expecting big things from all of Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together. Oh. Oh, here we go. Personal data. Team score. I got a 66%. <laughs> oh. We got credits. We've officially got credits. We've done it. Have you stuff to do in the yard first? Awesome. Okay, so we are good. We can uh, we can continue on doing the stuff, doing the things. That's amazing. We have a mantis fight still. We've got uh, some more things to build. We got some more science to get. We got things to unlock. We got to get 100% on that scorecard. So um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, guys, we've and Missy, we've officially beat it. It's happened. It's a thing. Hooray! It was a, a good time. It was glorious. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We cried. We laughed. And we did it all together. Mostly cried. <laughs> Mostly yeah, cried. A lot of crying. Lots Less of hurt. crying. Abnormal amounts of crying. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys. And that is going to end our episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. We officially ended it. Grounded. We did it. We did the things. Um, however, I think we might do one more episode. I don't know. We'll see. We might do the Mantis fight and we might do like a, a recap of uh, some kind of neat things. Maybe we'll go through all the tools and all that stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. But we did it. We officially ended it. My gosh. It's exciting. It's amazing. And we're done. Thank you all so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.